and hello, I am Chemical Boy slash Damien Hex, and I want to wish you a happy Valentine's Day. That said, I'm going to talk about the 2001 Valentine movie, and I feel like it's one of the most underrated films. So, uh, yeah, let's get to it. Oh, and before I forget, I just want to say that I am a Fangoria affiliate, which means you can use my code CHEMICALBOYX for 20% off to get stuff like this and other goodies on their website. Okay, so, uh, yeah, now let's get to it for real. They introduce us to the villain origin story of the film. It starts off in a dance, and this kid named Jeremy Melton, J.M., is, uh, you know, he's a geek, he's a loner, you could just tell he's being bullied uh, all of his life. And so he starts asking girls to dance with him at the, the school dance. They all reject him, except one girl named Kate. She was like, hey, like maybe later, but thank you for asking me. And then this girl uh, named Dorothy also said yes, and they start making out under the bleachers. However, they get caught by a group of bullies and then in order for her to save face she's like oh my god no like he like uh, assaulted me jeremy melton starts like up uh, stressing out and then he starts bleeding from his uh from his nose and then he gets beat up ends up in uh juvie and then ends up in a mental hospital fast forward to the present the group of girls that rejected um jeremy they stay friends that said i feel like there's two different reoccurring themes throughout the film one the past is coming to haunt you two women dealing with shitty men for example kate is dating an alcoholic dorothy is dating a uh, freeloader and then when they um get a detective to help with the murder start occurring that detective ends up being a pig so it's just not a fun time for these women let's talk about the killer i think his branding is iconic so one he wears a cupid mask he also sends valentine's day cards and gifts to his victims before he unalives them and with these valentine's day cards they come with morbid poems whenever he unalives someone you see him bleed the holes of the mask so that tells you right away oh like shit. the kid that was bullied in in the school dance the last scene of the movie it ends up being at Dorothy's house, which is a mansion, and they have like um, a party. So I do like the fact that it started at a, a school party, and it ends at, you know, at an adult party. I'm not gonna spoil the ending, but can watch the movie. There's a twist. Okay, stay safe though. All right, bye.